Oakwood students, welcome back to Oakwood Students Online. We're so glad to see you. In fact, we're super excited about something that's coming up in a couple of weeks. June 3, we are planning on some sort of high school and middle school gathering here at the church. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. We're gonna upload a video and tell you the announcement or something and get the info out to you. So, now we're moving on to some close pin game of pain. That's right. Oh, we've got a few. Uh, we're gonna see how many we can put on my face and how much pain I can take for you, because I love you. Listen, put it in the chat. How many close pins will there be on this face? How much pain can I sustain? So you know the name of the game, Face of Pain. So as you're putting down your guesses in the chat, you only get one shot, and we're keeping an eye out for who guesses closest first. You're gonna get some OSM swag sent to your house tomorrow. You ready, Brandon? Let's do this. Let's do it. It's time for the, the teaching moment, and I really want to get you guys thinking about what life is going to be like in a couple weeks. And, and I'm not ta necessarily talking about as the quarantine's coming to a close, but while yes, that is happening, and, and hopefully things are going to slowly start getting back to normal. What I'm talking about is that, that summer is just around the corner, and for a lot of us, that means summer jobs. That means we're not going to be in school. And, and while things may be a little bit different, maybe a little bit of a different summer, I think some of the principles of how you think about summer is really, really important. And so I want to look at a, a scripture verse with you, and we're going to throw it up on the screen. And it's uh, 1 Corinthians 10, starting in verse 31. And it says, uh, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Do not cause anyone to stumble, whether Jews, Greeks, or the church of God, even as I treat, try to please everyone in every way. For I am not seeking my own good, but the good of many, so that they may be saved. And, and I, love, I love this verse because what, what is challenging you, and, and, and really this applies to every aspect of your life all year long, but, but I'm taking this passage and I want you to think about this summer. And, and as you step into this summer and the way you live your life, whatever you are doing, you're to be doing it for the glory of God. So that means whether you are playing video games, you're doing it for the glory of God. Whether you are working, you are doing it for the glory of God. Whether you are having uh, clothes pins pinched to your face like Brandon earlier, you're doing it for the glory of God. I know Brandon, Brandon there's no way that Brandon would allow us to put uh, 41 clothes pins on his face uh, if it wasn't for the glory of God. Um, and so you need to be thinking about for you this summer, what are you going to be doing? How are you going to be doing it for the glory of God? 
Um, and yes, we're trying to please the people around us, but why are we trying to please them? Because we want them to come into a relationship with Jesus. We want their forever to be changed. So what you do this summer is really vitally important and could change someone's forever. And that may be from the job, whether you are working at Schlitterbahn or you're working at T-Bar-M. In fact, we, we love T-Bar-M and uh, we actually have a, a little shout out from them. So go ahead and check out uh, this little word from, from Kyle, one of the guys over at T-Bar-M. Hey Oakwood, what's up? My name is Kyle Lynch. I am the day camp men's director out here at T-Bar-M and I'm not gonna take a lot of your time. I got three quick things. Number one, thank you. Man, we hear about the things going on over at Oakwood. Community, y'all getting involved, y'all living out Jesus and what you're studying and learning. You guys are doing an incredible job. Keep at it. Two, we wanna challenge you guys not to waste your summer. There are tons of options that you guys can do. We know that you guys have so many different opportunities, but we wanna make sure you guys aren't wasting your summer. That's all we ask. TBRM, yeah, that's an awesome option. But man, whether you guys are bagging groceries, working at a restaurant, man, whether you guys are out there coaching, doing sports, don't waste your summer. Think about the things you've been learning and apply them. Man, what the Bible says, go live that out. Don't waste your summer. You wanna look back on this time and be like, man, that was an awesome summer and I made an impact on the kingdom, on other people. It's not just about you. Have fun this summer, but don't waste it. Now, the third thing, an awesome option is T-Bar M. Ladies, I'm sorry, you guys were on top of things. You guys, we already have a ton of awesome applicants. We don't need more right now. In the future, check us out. Fellas, I still need some awesome guides and we still have a couple spots. If you want community, you want truth, you want a lot of, ton of fun, a lot of chaos, all sorts of craziness wrapped up and pointed to Jesus, you need to check out T-Bar-M. We still have spots, but guys, again, T-Bar-M or something else, don't waste your summer. Make this summer count. Thanks, guys. All right, well, thank you, Kyle, and, and I really hope you take what, what he was talking about. Like, don't waste your summer, whether it's with T-Bar-M or it's you are working at Schlitterbahn or you're working at Chick-fil-A or you are mowing lawns. Whatever you're doing, do it for the glory of God. Do it to serve people around you. Do it to point people towards Jesus. So I, I want to give you really seven challenges, seven quick things that you can be doing this summer so that you don't waste your summer. Um, for God's glory. First of all, uh, number one is to, to pray. Um, you need to be having conversations with God. Last week, we, we challenged you to have this the, that list of 10 things to pray through. And, and maybe you do that on a more regular basis. You pray more than just uh, at when you wake up and when you go to sleep and maybe at a mealtime. Prayer is your spiritual breath. You wouldn't go through the day without t stopping and taking a breath you need to have that spiritual air in your lungs. The second one is uh, to, to read, and yes, read scripture, but also I wanna challenge you to, to grab a, another book, another book that uh, is gonna point you closer to Jesus, it's gonna help you understand maybe something a little bit better. Um, like I, for example, I just read uh, not too long ago a book about prayer called Dangerous Prayers, and it, it's a it's a book on prayers that that really pushed me in my prayer life. Um, another one uh, pushed me in my prayer life. Another one is uh, this summer, as things are starting to gear back up here, at Oakwood, you need to plug back in. Um, we we've been gone for so long, and and yes, you may have been checking in every once in a while on social media or uh, checking in at some point to watch these videos, but, but you need to plug back in and be a part of the body of Christ. Uh, because if you're not, you're, you're missing out on so much that it brings for you. Um, the, the fourth one is you, you need to uh, be serving. Um, and that could be uh, the job that you're doing allows you to serve people, but it also could be uh, that like when we have our VBS this summer or we have some kind of service opportunity um, or you're just helping people in your neighborhood. You're looking for opportunities to serve because that's what Jesus would do. And so you need to be looking for ways to serve people. Um, and then uh, you need to, this one may seem a little bit weird um, and not necessarily spiritual, but trust me, it is. You, you need to get a job. Um, and 
by what I mean by that is it, it's going to teach you some responsibility. It's going to give you something to do, but also it's going to give you a brand new mission field for you to be able to share Jesus with people. You will be able to come in contact with uh, new coworkers that you probably never would see this summer if you weren't working a job. And so whether that job is something that's uh, occasional or it's like a full-time um, working in the kitchen of a restaurant kind of job, anything in between, be using those jobs for God's glory. And then finally, um, oh, uh, the final two, and they kind of go uh, it, it intertwine. Beware of becoming idle. Don't, don't get lazy. Um, and that's going to be probably be even harder coming off of not being in school for two months, or maybe that'll make it easier that you're ready to do something. But, but don't just sit around and uh, destroy your sleep cycle, um, but, but keep a good routine and don't just um, twiddle your thumbs this summer. And the final thing is, is to enjoy it, to have fun this summer. God, God created us to enjoy things. God created us to have fun um, at times as well. And, and so uh, he created that. That's part of summer for us as well. God wants you to enjoy your summer and enjoy spending time with your friends. Um, and uh, you will be able to do incredible things for God's glory. Um, and so those are my seven challenges for you that have come up on the screen as, as we've been going along and and so hopefully you will be able to take at least a handful of these and apply these as you are getting ready for summer which is just a couple weeks away let me pray for you god i just pray that you will right now you are just going to work in the lives of these students as they are finishing up school uh, for some of them as they're finishing up high school uh, for good and they're going to be going to college um, in the future, or they're going into their next stage of life, God, I pray that you will be with them as they are wrapping up. Um, God, I pray that you will be with them as this school year is wrapping up, as weird as it's been. Um, and God, help them to figure out how they can make this summer something special. Make this summer something that you can use, um, and make this summer something that they don't waste. In your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Well, hey guys, uh, thanks again, Pastor Jordan, for that prayer. That's super awesome. Um, just another reminder, June 3rd, we're back uh, here uh, for Wednesday nights. Uh, it's still going to be kind of restricted, so social distancing, we're still going to be practicing that. Uh, we're going to try to be safe. Can't but hey guys, can't wait to see y'all again. Uh, we'll see y'all later. Hey Brandon, can we uh, try to break the record? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. No! No! It's over!